in the previous video we have shown you how to do data entry in excel and we have left the formula part for the next video and this is the video we will be showing how to apply formula in your excel sheet so basically we'll be working on the same sheet which we have created in the previous video so that you can get the best idea that how you can apply formulas into your excel sheet right so hey guys welcome back to marketing funders global this is the sixth video in this excel course and in this video we are going to show you how to apply formula in tabular form in excel so let's get into the video without any further ado <music> So guys, as you can see right now, I'm in my Excel sheet and uh, this is the data which we have created earlier. Let me zoom in a little bit so that you can understand properly. This much is okay. It's okay now. So, so these are the formulas which we are going to apply. The first one is total, then max, minimum, count, average, percentage, then grade. Well, there are many ways to apply formula. Let me show you one by one that how you can apply uh, the formulas in Excel sheet. So first of all, there are two things. The first one is function, which is inbuilt formulas in Excel sheet. I mean, uh, the, the Excel shop software. And the other thing is formula, which we uh, have to create our, by ourselves, right? So some basic functions are added, already added, like uh, you can do sum, you can do division, subtraction, multiplication. These small or basic formulas are on, already added in the software itself, okay? And that is known as functions. So let me show you one by one. Now, let's say uh, we want to total up all these four subjects to this uh, cell, right? For that, we just have to go to this, as you can see, auto sum option here. There is a drop down arrow as well. If you click this, we got these options over here. So the first one is sum, which will help you to do addition, right? So just press it like this and it will be select automatically, right? If you want to uh, do the addition of only two or these three subjects, you just have to select this, the first one, then drag it like this. But in our case, we want four to be added, right? After this, just press enter and it will be added automatically, right? Now, there are a few other ways as well. Let me show you. Let me delete this one first. Now, as I have already told you, if you want to activate any formula or you want to create any formula in Excel, you have to press is equals to first, right? Then you can add some click on this then you can add one by one the numbers like this then plus then this plus then this plus then this and press the bracket close and press enter and it will be added right but this is a bit long way to do this the same thing right that's why excel has created or excel has given some uh, options function options which helps you to work get the work done more efficiently and more effectively so let me delete this for now and let's continue with the previous idea otherwise there is one more way to do it you just have to press is equals to as i have already shown you in the previous video then select the first number then plus second plus third plus then fourth and this is without activating any function option this is a proper uh, formula which you are creating right then hit the enter button and it will be added right so i've already told you three ways to do this but for now we are just using the pre-added formula or pre-added function basically so for that click on auto sum already getting out of sum and press enter now once you got the first number you just have to hover your cursor over here this is called well this is called fill handle right you just have to hover your cursor over here and drag it like this it will be automatically filled by the numbers right and for example if you change the number from here the formula is already applied then that means if you change the number here automatically this will change the number here as well right so that's how this works for example i do this to 27 it will be applied here as well right and why it is happening because the formula is applied now Let's do the same with max as well. For that, we have to go to this option, go to max. Now, as we can see, it is, is it has all uh, taken the total number as well, but we just want to take only these four subjects, not want to take the total number, right? So for that, select the first cell and go to the last one and then hit enter. So the max one is this and it is showing 86, right? Now, just drag it like this and it will be filled automatically 
same goes with the minimum as well go to minimum again do this just four subject press enter then drag it like this right now there's one more thing let me show you now we are in the count option go to this drop down click on the count number select the four only press enter now if you double click here as you can see we got the count now just drag it like this now we have average same goes with the average as well go to average option select the numbers which you want to select press enter we got the average here then do like this now there is a percentage but for getting percentage there is no any function or formula you have to create it by yourself and that's it for this video i hope you got the knowledge about these things how to apply the formulas into your sheet in these tabular sheet right tabular data and if still you have any question or confusion please comment down below i'll answer those questions in the comment section itself we'll meet you in the next video till then bye bye